yes welcome back to my channel my lovelies my name is Soinye Chuku and um, if you're old thank you for coming back thank you for always watching me thank you so much because you are making my channel thrive uh, and if you are new after this video don't forget to subscribe please subscribe share and tell your friends about me and give me a thumbs up okay so on today's video i just want to do a client's dress no special tutorial i just want to show you how i did the dress from start to finish especially the cutting process so and i know you'll be interested to see that that is why i decided to share how i did it here in my channel so if you are ready now let's go down to the cutting table these are the things i need for today's video this is the fabric i'm using this is the measurement tape soft measurement tape this is the measurement i got on the client i wrote it boldly with a marker so that you guys can see it these are the curves i need rulers and my scissors this i've drawn all the lines already but i will show you i'll tell you what i did here this is my shoulder line this is my upper bust line this is my armpit line this is my middle bust line this is my under bust line and this is the half length that is half length okay so let me show you the numbers Okay. My half length is 18. Let me bring it closer. My half length is 18, and I added half seam allowance. So, and this is my under boss, which is 14, my middle boss, which is 10, and the upper boss, which is 6. So, this is my armpit line, which is 9. Okay, so. I'll start by marking the shoulder. Her shoulder is 15 and I divide into two, which is seven and a half. I'll mark seven and a half here on the shoulder line and I'll come down to the armpit line, which is nine from shoulder and I'll mark seven and a half also. That is the seven and a half is the shoulder divided by two. 15 by two is seven and a half. So, okay, and I'll join. Okay, so, and my bust is 41, my bust is 41, so 41 divided by 4, I'm dividing it by 4, if you want to know how I got it, you have to check my previous video where I did pattern drafting, okay, so 41 by 4 will give me 10 one quarter, and I mark, so from this line, I'll Covings, maybe I'll use my cup. Okay, give it a nice cup. Okay, nice cup. So the next is I'll now do the bust. I'm using for four, four for her bust. Her nipple to nipple is eight. So an eight by two will give us four. And now I'm adding half inch seam allowance, so I'll use four and a half. So at the middle bust line, I'll mark my four and a half. Under bust line, I'll also mark my four and a half. And half length, I also mark my four and a half. Okay. And I join the three of them. Um, I added the, the seam allowance, half inch seam allowance, because I'm doing the drafting directly on the fabric. Okay, so now is the darting. Okay, so I'm doing the dart now. The from the center I got my one inch, and by the side I'm doing two and a half. So I'm marking the two and a half. I mark the two and a half down the half length line and also two and a half at the waistline and uh, I am joining it with my ruler now okay so then 
took my curve, try to give it a fine curve starting from the waistline to the middle bust. Turning my curve again, doing making it curvy at the center from the middle bust to the waistline using my ruler now to join from the waistline sorry to the, from the under bust line to the waistline now now i i am completing the the curve from the middle bust to the armhole okay try and center the armhole then doing this one again from middle bust to the, to the armhole trying to give it a fine curve yes this is the sort of breast dart so i incorporated it into my darting process trying to outline all the curves checking and making sure that the line the middle line that is the center cord is equal to the side cord so checked it and saw that the center is longer by three quarter of an inch that's what i did now marked it and i'm joining it okay yes very fine curve so i want to check my measurement now and use it to do my final drawing so her waist is um, 33 i divided by four that's what i'm doing divided by four add all the necessary allowances and i mark that's this one is for the under bust and the one of the waist i did added all the necessary allowance and I also mark then join with my ruler okay so the front that's the shoulder mark the shoulder notch I measure out five inches from shoulder for the other side I'm doing this because of the style in my picture the style I want to create so I carve it out Trying to get a nice curve. Okay, use this one. Then I I will mark from the shoulder. I'll mark from the shoulder down to the five inches I added. I want to use this side for lapel. Then I okay. So I placed the lapel side, placed it on a thick black fabric, not lining the thick black fabric faced it right side to right side then i am cutting it okay that's what i'm doing after the cuts i will put interface as a clothes comb okay and you'll be shoulder line upper bust line armhole line then the length okay so i took my curve and get my fine armhole curve that's the armhole curve that i'm doing then mark out the neck and that i'm doing the dart now one inch by each side of the dart i used four and a half inch for my dart so i'm trying to join it now i'm joining the dart from the half length to the armhole okay the center dart then the side dart i'm joining it trying to use my curve to join it okay you don't have to use ruler here because when you use ruler, it won't be nice, nicely curved. Then I measure out the length, like I did in the front. Measure out the length by the center 
and I measured the side and found out that it's longer. So I added the margin and reshaped my armhole. Okay. So I now check the measurements of my waist and add the necessary allowances. That's what I did now. Then used my ruler, join from the waist to the amp armpit line. Yes. Time to cut. Cut, 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 cut the sides. Cut the armhole. You can see my top now. Okay? This is the back of the bodice. Trying to divide the folded parts. It will now give me the left and right. The line you are seeing is the zipper allowance. I added one and a half inch for the zipper allowance. I used half to turn the lining and one for the zipper. So, almost done with my back bodice. Yes. You can see it now. Okay, so marking the waistline now. I added half inch, uh, sorry, one and half inch seam allowance. And on the hip, I divided by four, mark it, add one and half seam, one and half inch seam allowance. The down, that's the where the length will stop. Then the added two inch folding in allowance. I added one and half along the skirt length. So I'm using my pants curve now to join try and join the curves both the seam allowance and the shaping allowance i'm adding one and half because i'll use i'll use half to turn the lining then one for shaping allowance so joining the hip to the length using my hip curve okay reinforcing it with my hand trying to get the curves very well then use my scissors and cut i'm cutting now notch the length then the down time to do the back of the skirt so since the skirt is 13 I measured it, took it to the up the waist and mark because I will, I'm not going to do it equal. I will dart the back. So I'm using my curve now to join from the waistline to the hip line. Okay, as you can see, I placed the front pattern to get the back. So everything will be equal except for the waist. So trying to get my zipper allowance one and a half inch from up to down that's what i'm doing now then cut cut it out it's not difficult just do it the way i did and your clothes will come out nice i try to notch the length, that's the length. The other one is the folding allowance for the lining. The lining will start from there and go up. So I cut. Then slit it into two for back. Yes, ready to draft the sleeve. The sleeve pattern, the sleeve length is seven while the round sleeve is 13 and a half. I wrote W because I usually call it sleeve width. Okay, that's the the sketch. They will all be two to the band, the balloon, the basic sleeve. Okay, here we go. Take my tape. Okay, draw the baseline. Draw the baseline. Take the, okay, measure out the seven, then added one inch 
see my allowance half for up half for down that's it i'm marking strengthen my line okay then for basic sleeve i use for strengthen it to the end okay then i'll now use my curve that's the way I draft my basic sleeve pattern. Okay. Then I'll measure the sleeve round. And added one and a half inch seam allowance. Then I measured the upper arm and added one and a half inch seam allowance. Then join it. Yes. That's the sleeve pattern I am cutting out now that's the sleeve pattern yes and this two for the right and the left this is the sleeve the bands the balloon and the basic sleeve so this is how you gather it fix the bands to it then gather the up fix the basic sleeve to it that's the sleeve i am done with cutting the linings this is the back i did it like this because i want the lining to carry the fabric up like this i want it to come inside so this is it back lining okay the front lining i did the same it's going to carry it up like this. Okay. And this is the bodice, the back of the bodice, the sides, the lining, center, center with the lining. This is the padding. Okay, we call it padding. That is for padded tops and you know, blouses. I'll use it to do it so that it will be very firm and nice. This is for the center. For the center. Okay. So the sleeve and this one. 